Good morning, viewers. Welcome to the session devotionals for this morning. Topic for this morning: acting on the will of God. Topic one more time: acting on the will of God. Under the series, what is the great faith that engenders stardom? Host my humble self, look at okay, Our text this morning is taken from the book of First Kings, chapter thirteen, from verse thirty-six down to thirty-nine. But let's pray before we begin. Father, we thank you for the bread in our nostrils. We thank you for an opportunity to be alive this morning. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. We've come this morning to hear your word, Father, we are speak to us and grant us understanding. You said in Psalm 65, verse 4, Blessed is the man who thou chooses and causes to approach unto thee, that he will dwell in your court, and that you show us the goodness of your house. Today, open our eyes to your understanding of the goodness of your words today, in the name of Jesus. Grant us grace, O God, to become doers of your word and all hearers or listeners only. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Topic for our devotionals this morning Acting on the Will of God. Acting on the Will of God on that series. What is great faith that engenders stardom? Host Muhammad Sahab, Luke Key text taken from the book of First Kings, chapter 18, from verse 36 down to 39. I read from verse 36. And it came to pass. At the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice, that Elijah, the prophet, came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel, let it be known this day that thou art called in Israel. Look at it. And that I am thy servant, and that I have done all these things at thy word, or you can say at thy will. That what? I have done all these things at thy word, at thy will. Verse 38 said, Then the fire of the Lord fell and caused all the bone sacrifice and the wood and the stones and the dust and lick up the water that was in the trench. And in verse 39, And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and they said, The Lord, He is God. The Lord, He is God. May the Lord bless His word and grant us understanding in Jesus' name. For the reading Isaiah chapter 55 from verse 10 to 13. For as much for as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth, and board, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. As 11 said, So shall my word be, or so shall my will be, that goeth forth out of my mouth. It said, It shall not return unto me void, but it shall what accomplish that which I please, and shall prosper in the thing. Where to I send it, I pray. The will of God will prosper in your life in the name of Jesus. Verse 12 said, For ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands while walking in the will of God. Said verse 13, Instead of the thorn shall come up the fig tree, and instead of bear shall come up the mighty tree, and it shall be. To the Lord for a name for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Jeremiah 29 10 to 14. For thus says the Lord God, after 70 years be accomplished at Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good will or my good word towards you in causing you to return to this place. The will of God is to bring them out after 70 years, and that came to pass. I held it up in verse 11 said, For I know the thoughts that are things towards you, said the Lord of thought of peace and of evil to give you an expected end. Verse 12 said, Then shall ye call on me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me, verse 30, and find me, and ye shall search me with all of your heart, so that I will be found of you. I pray today, as you walk in the will of God, you will be found of God in Jesus' name. Ephesians 1, 1, down to 11. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, to the saints which are Ephraim, and to the faithful in Christ Jesus, said in verse 3, Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. So it is His will that through Christ He hath granted us all spiritual blessings, said in verse 4, According as He has chosen us in Him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before Him in love, verse 15, verse 5 said, Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Christ Jesus to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. You will see God's will at work for your favor in the name of Jesus. Verse 9 said, Having made known unto us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure which he had proposed in himself, said in verse 10, that in the dispensation of the fullness of times 
he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on the earth, even in him. That means his will act both in heaven and in the earth. Said in verse 11, in whom also we have obtained inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him which will get all things after the counsel of his will. May the Lord bless his word and grant us understanding in Jesus' name. Topic for this morning, acting on the will of God. On that series, what is great faith the engender start of host Mahambrasa. Look at key text taken from the book of First Kings 18 from the start of 6 to 13. Now we've read that for that reading. Isaiah 55, 10 to 13, Jeremiah 29, 10 to 14, and Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 1 to 11. Please, I want to beg you to let your time. Read these scriptures. You'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Thinking cap. A mind blowing word for this morning is you can't do the will of God and miss the wealth and the wellness of God. I take that again. You can't do the will of God and miss the wealth of God, or you can't. You can do the will of God and miss the wealth and the wellness of God. Think about this. Today we'll look at a topic acting on the will of God on that teaching series on what is great faith that engenders stardom. By introduction, let's know that the will of God is the plan and the purpose of God that cannot be stopped or thwarted by men, nor the devil himself. All men and all creatures are direct product of the will of God and therefore they are made subject to the will of God anytime and any day. Nothing on earth or in heaven can resist the will of God from coming to pass. Anytime we walk and act by the will of God, we automatically command divine presence that guarantees supernatural victories and establishes our status in life. And I pray, as you act on the will of God for your life, you will arrive as a star at the end of this month and beyond in the name of Jesus. Remember in Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 down to 31, you see the account of creation. There was no consultation with any creature. If it or he or she should be created. God, out of his will, just created everything and created man. Down to verse 26 said, let us make man. So just within the heavens, there was a consultation. Man was never consulted to be created. And as such, everyone is subject to the will of God. Um, Psalm chapter 100 from verse uh, 1 to 5 saying, we are the sheep of his pasture. So it is God that made us and not we. Uh, Sub Jeremiah chapter 1. From verse 4 down to 5, talking about Jeremiah, before I formed thee, I knew thee and ordained thee to be a prophet unto nation. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and I ordained thee to be a prophet unto nation. Luke 22 40 to 44 said, And when he was at the place, he said unto them, Pray that ye enter not into temptation. It's down to verse 41, and he said, And he was withdrawn from them. Verse 41 said, And he was withdrawn from them about a stone cast, and knelt down and prayed. And verse uh, 42 saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Say, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. And nevertheless, so nevertheless, not my Lord. Uh, apologies for the delay, please. Mm. Apologies. Luke chapter 22, I read from verse 40 to 44. I take from verse 40 again. And when he was at a place, he said, He said unto them, Pray that ye enter on temptation. Out of verse 41, And when he was withdrawn from them about a stone, cast, and knelt down and prayed, verse 42 said, Saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me, nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. So until we come to the place in our life where we allow the will of God to rule and to lead us, we will never end as stars. And look at what happened. Down to verse 43, and there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him. And verse 44, and being in agony, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was as it were great drops of blood falling down to the ground. And don't forget, Philippians to Christ, God highly exalted Jesus, giving him a name that's a prophet, that name that the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Why? Because he allowed the will of God to be manifested in his life. I pray you'll be wise enough to allow the will of God to lead you, and as you do. He will end as a star in the name of Jesus. Very quickly, let's look at what is great faith that engenders stardom. We say a couple of points the day before yesterday. And yesterday we saw that the will of God is simply the undiluted word of God. We also saw that uh, uh, great faith that engenders stardom is simply uh, the purpose of God. Today we're looking at another point. What is great faith that engenders stardom is simply acting 
or the will of God, which simply means to live, to behave, and act according to divine purpose, standard, and God's word as a lifestyle on the earth. I take that again. What is great faith that engenders stardom? It's simply the will of God. It's simply we word acting on the will of God, which simply means to live, to behave, and to act according to divine purpose, standard, and God's word as a lifestyle on the earth. In 1 Kings chapter 18, from verse 36 down to 39, that's an anchor scripture. We saw how Elijah gathered all the prophets of Baal and all Israel together and said, Today, let's define it. Uh, let the prophet of Baal, let them call their God. Give us two bullocks, let them take one, prepare a sacrifice, I will do mine. Let them call their God, let fire come from on high. And they did that, there was no fire. And Elijah did his own, and there was fire from heaven. But he said something, he said, Let it be known that I did this according to what? To thy will, and that I am your prophet. And of course, the fire of the Lord came down immediately and consumed the born offering. The bond sacrifice, you can read that in 1 Kings 18, 36 to 39. Isaiah chapter 38, from verse 2 down to 6. Then Azekiah turned his face towards the wall and prayed unto God. And in verse 3, and said, Remember now, o God, how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart, and I have done that which is good in thy sight. That means I have done thy will. And Ezekiah wept so. And in verse 4, then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah, saying, Go and say to Ezekiah, There said the Lord, I have added 50 more years to him. And we saw Ezekiah enjoy God's blessings instead of death. Why? Because he did the will of God and he reminded God of so. Jeremiah chapter 3, from verse 3 to 9. Call unto me and I will answer thee and I will show the great and mighty things which are noise not. Said in verse 5. They come to fight with the childings, but it is to fill them with dead bodies of men whom I have slain in my anger and in my fury. So it is God's will to destroy all the enemies it is his will and i pray his will will be good for you and for your family in the name of jesus his will will be bitter for your enemies in the name of jesus verse 6 and behold i bring it health and cure and i will cure them and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth that's god's will for you and i see that coming to pass in jesus name ourselves said and i will cause the captivity of judah and the captivity of israel to return i will build them as at the first and I will cleanse them from all their iniquity whereby they have sinned against me. And I will pardon all their iniquities whereby they have sinned and whereby they have transgressed against God will show you mercy. In respect of the wrongs you have done, Jehovah God will show you mercy in Jesus. You can complete that scripture down to about six because of time. Luke chapter 12 from verse 28, 32. If then God so clothed the grass which is today in the field and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much will he clothe you, O ye of little faith? I pray. You'll be wise enough to act on God's will. And as you do, you will not be disappointed in Jesus. Then verse 29 said, And seek not, I'm looking, I'm reading from Luke chapter 12, verse 29 said, And seek not ye which ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, neither be you doubtful mind. Verse 30 said, For all these things do your nations, did the nations of the world seek after, and your father know whether ye have need of this. Verse 31 said, But rather seek ye. Seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Said in verse 30, so fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good word, good pleasure to give you the kingdom. That's where I'm going. Verse 32, fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good will. You can put good will there. It is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. I pray God will daze you even this morning with all forms of blessings in Jesus' name. Uh, 10 John verse 2, beloved, I wish above all things that I may prosper and be in health even as their soul prosper. So it is his will for you to have good health and to enjoy life and the Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. But one more time, we're looking at the subtopic, what is great faith, the engender stardom, and we're dwelling on it is simply acting on the will of God. We went further to say, which simply means to live, to behave, and to act according to divine purpose, standard, and God's word as a lifestyle. On the earth, not uh, 10 years after they check you out, you are doing something else from what you claim to do 10 years prior this moment. That will not be your portion in Jesus' name. You will dwell in the will of God perpetually in the name of you. will not leave ministry to go to worldly music in the name of Jesus. I pray you will not leave at the service of humanity to go and start doing trafficking and all that in the name of Jesus. At your leisure time, you can read 1 Kings 18, 36-39, Isaiah 38, 2-6, Jeremiah 33, 3-9, uh, Luke 12, 28-32, and 10 John, uh, 3 John, verse 2, I beg your pardon. 
Lastly, it is important we allow the plan and the will of God to direct and order our steps in life. Anytime we act according to the will of God, we secure His divine presence. And this divine presence is all that we need to come and exploit on the earth. Beloved, never you follow your mind and feel you are following God's will. For God's will is simply God's word. Meaning, until you live and act on God's word, you will never walk in great faith. I remember it is working in great faith that guarantees a star to shine in life. I pray your star will shine as you walk in great faith, being engendered by walking uh, according to the will of God in Jesus' name. As such, I call you to confess Jesus this morning. I want to pray with you, but prior to that, Daniel chapter 3, from verse 1 down to 30, we all know the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Uh, King Nebuchadnezzar did a big image about six foot and said everyone should bow to this image but these three guys said we will not. He said let it be known King that we are not going to bow. We are not going to bow. There's nothing you can do about it. And the King was furious. He threw them into uh, the lake of fire. These three guys came out on hot and there was commotion in the land of Bible. People gathered to see these three guys who the fire has no effect. Not their bodies smell fire. And there was a decree. No one should bow to any other God except the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And I pray, as you stand on the will of God, you command exploit in your field, in your place of work, in your house, in your ministry. You command signs and wonders that will bring many to Christ in the name of Jesus. Don't forget the story of Job, Job chapter 42 from verse 10 to 70. We all know all that befell him, but nevertheless, he never cursed God. He never sinned against God. He stood on the will of God. He knew that God's will for him is good. And in Job 42, 10, and the Lord turned again the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. The Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. And in verse 11, then came there, people went to him and began to give him gold, began to give him pieces of money. And in verse 12, so the Lord blessed the letter end of Job more than his beginning. He had 14,000 sheep and 6,000 camels and a thousand yoke of oxen and a thousand sea ash. And in verse 17, so Job died being old and full of days. He saw his children, children to the third generation. I pray. Jehovah God will bless you as you stay on his will in the name of Jesus. First Timothy 2, 3 to 5. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. So it is his will that you will be saved. Ephesians 1 9, having made known unto us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure, which he had proposed in himself. Philippians 2 13. For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. You will see the good pleasure of God in Jesus. In Galatians 3, Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the Lord. I want to pray with you so that you can come out of every cause you are in. Place your hand on your chest, bow your head, and repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you this morning. I know I'm a sinner. Forgive me all my sins. I know you come to this earth for my sake. On the third day, you rose for my freedom. Right now, I confess in Jesus to be my Lord and my Savior. Grant me grace to serve you. Grant me grace to live according to your will all the days of my life. And let my name be erased from the book of life forever. Make me rapturable. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We take two prayers. I'm sure that was prayer. Father Lord, empower me to walk and act on your will for my life as a lifestyle. In the name of Jesus. Job 42 verse 10. The Lord turned the captain of Job around. Uh, Luke 22, 42, saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. That will be our kind of prayers going forward in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, empower me to walk and act on your will for my life as a lifestyle in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, empower me to walk and act on your will for my life as a lifestyle. In the name of Jesus, my petition this morning, hear me, O God. Empower me, Jehovah, to walk and act on your will for my life as a lifestyle. In the name of Jesus. Last prayer. Father, cause many saints across the world to live and act according to your will for their purpose in Jesus' name. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou comest for the love of thy mother's womb, I sanctify thee and ordain thee a prophet unto nations. With this understanding, let's pray. Father, cause many saints across the world to live and act according to your will for their purpose in the name of Jesus. We saw uh, many saints stood by your will and they come and explain that shall be for the saint out there. In Jesus' name, Father Lord, cause many saints across the world to live and act according to your will for their purpose. Thank you for your strong for Jesus' name. We pray, Jeremy. Pray this prayer, share this gospel, and be blessed from intercession. We ministry. God blesses you tomorrow as we continue in this series. I really appreciate that. I can see my father, Pastor Elijah. I really appreciate uh, you watching, Pastor uh, King Gehime. I really appreciate the Lord. Bless every one of you. Lord, increase the grace and anointing upon you. God bless you.